My name is Oinda Malagwaje. I am the head girl. People call me Demola. Um, so here we're going to have the 2019 David Game College prom. There's going to be dinners, there's a photo booth. Mr. Game, <laughs> he's about to talk, trying to inspire us to the next chapter of our lives. There's going to be an award ceremony, silly ceremonies, and the important ones as well. So it's just kind of a way to bring everybody together for the last time. First of all, everyone is so hardworking, so pushed, and they want to help the students excel and do well on the exams and carry on to be very successful people later on in life and come back and build, not even build memories, but come back and review the memories we've had over the years. And um, it's really interesting to see people that probably wouldn't you wouldn't see on a daily basis. Um, seeing everybody together is making me almost sad <laughs> to see almost everybody for the last time and not coming back. It's um, it's going to be a new adjustment, but David Game has prepared me for the next chapter of my life and um, I don't know where I'd be without David Game College. All I can say is enjoy yourself. I'm going to introduce the head boy and head girl now, Ed and Demola. Where are you? You're going to come up and have a chat. Hello everyone. Welcome to Prom 2019. Woo! Um, so we thought we'd just say a few words about what it's been like to be head boy and girl and what it means to us, what this college means to us and how much we've enjoyed everything. So for me it's been a real privilege. Everyone I've met here, every friend I've made has been someone who's really helped me with everything I've done and it's been a massive learning process and everyone's been so warm-hearted and kind and from the bottom of my heart it's been one of the best experiences of my life. So I'm really proud to represent you all and proud to be your friends. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming in today. I know you've all finished your exams and you probably want to relax and do absolutely nothing. I know what that's like, okay? Like, math was very hard. Um, so being here today means so much to me because seeing all of you for what seems to be the last time, all of you together like this, and I'm going to cry, but no. Um, Thank you for one of the best two years of my entire life. And do amazing things, be successful, do whatever you want to do, live your life, okay? This is the time, have fun. Tonight is the last time we're all gonna see each other. Make sure you use the photo booth, have fun. And now we're gonna have Mr. David Game. Thank you. First of all, welcome everyone. Thanks for coming tonight. Uh, many of you have just finished your exams, so let's hope you can relax this evening. <laughs> That's the point. We have got a nice room here. We haven't graduated here before. Last year we had the graduation in the college, but I think today we've uh, managed to get a slightly more impressive venue. I hope you're all uh, going to enjoy it and nice food. And we hope you've been successful. You don't have to think about it now. Have six weeks at least to relax and enjoy. Some of you will go on to university. We know you've had some great offers from places like Imperial, UCL, King's, other Russell Group universities, so let's hope that you will get them, and I'm sure you will. I know we've had some excellent students. Others will be returning in September. Even if you've done exams like GCSEs or AS level, you'll be coming back to us. So I hope you lot will have a very good summer relaxing, and then be ready for um, another year's hard work in September. Others of you, I would like to say, if you go on to university, actually, as many of you will, we are building up our alumni association this year. I've got Tusha, the person in charge of it, and we've been doing a lot of work on the alumni. We're going to have a party for the alumni at uh, uh, December. So um, those of you who want to remember the college and come back and be a member of the alumni association, we're very, very welcome. That's what we're saying. We'll have a magazine every year. We'll have a party every December, and we want the alumni to remember they are alumni. So you're very welcome to do that. And going even further, I should point out that some former students, a surprising number actually, have come back and worked for the college later on. When they've done their degree, when they've graduated, they've, we've offered them jobs and some of our very best people are actually former students. So please uh, follow that tradition if you'd like to. I would just like to say a few words about the history of the college, in case those of you who don't know. We, uh, we've actually been going now for 45 years and we've moved from a basement in uh, in um, Lily Road, which was 500 square feet, to a space now of 50,000 square feet. So we are 100 times bigger than we were when we started 45 years ago. 
22 years we were in Notting Hill, now we've been two years in Jury Street. And I think, and I hope many of my staff agree, this building is the best we've ever been in because it's much more like a college. It was previously a university, it was actually Metropolitan University. The big lecture theatre was actually university lecture theatre. One of our people who rent space downstairs was a student there. He'd studied film in our lecture theatre when it was university. So we have taken over university. And I think we've got the best space we've ever had. It's quite big. I get lost myself sometimes. I have to get John Edding to show me around in the basement. But uh, we're growing into it, and I think we are going to have a great uh, future in it. I thought I'd just quote one or two deep thoughts which, um, which I've been reminded of from a chancellor's speech to graduates of a famous African university. I myself was the vice chancellor of African university and used to make speech to hundreds of students in the day they graduated. This chancellor's speech said one or two useful short things. One, he said, the hard part is over, but I have news for you. The hard part is actually just beginning. You have much more to learn, but do not worry. You're ready for the challenge. Secondly, he said, you have reason to be proud of what you've accomplished, but you must be humble. Stay humble and be hungry to learn. Thirdly, he said, aim to become problem solvers. This is a very good one, I think. Do not complain about what's wrong unless you have an idea how to put it right. I say that to some of my staff occasionally. <laughs> Employers must want to hire people who are always thinking how you can improve things. So try and solve problems rather than just complaining. And finally, he suggested you should not refuse any job that comes up. And he mentioned two jobs, such as making chapatis and farming maize. Not many people are doing that, but anyway, I can see what he means. Take any, do not be too, too arrogant to take on anything that comes up. Rise to the challenge. And talking of challenge, we all know today's world is getting more and more challenging with so much uncertainty, climate change in particular, Brexit, fake news, other depressing situations. So you have to be... Resilient. So I hope you've enjoyed your experience at the college, and now I hope you have a great dinner and a great dance afterwards. Thank you. And, um, and have a, not too long a speech, but we're going to, to celebrate some of the achievements of our students that are leaving. And we're going to celebrate some of the more funny things about our students as well, as well as give out some awards. So um, I don't know whether everybody's here, so I'm going to call them out. People are going to come up, shake Mr. Games' hand. Are you okay to shake hands? I'll make the speech. Okie dokie. So here we go. First of all, for um, Tara, in recognition for her hard work and determination throughout the academic year. Well done, Tara. <laughs> Tara has worked so, so hard. So, so hard. And you're in the music club too, aren't you? She's in the music club, singing. So well done, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, next up we have the lovely Yasna, who has a, an award for her record, well, it's our recognition for her hard work and determination again. She's worked so, so hard and done her UCAS form and got some good offers. Well done. And next we have, for outstanding performance in music, Ali. Where's Ali? I saw him. <laughs> Ali. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. And I must say, Ali has inspired us to expand our music department because he really wanted to do music tech when he arrived, and we didn't have it. So you are our inspiration, Ali. So well done. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
And next we have an award for outstanding performance in art by Mehmet. Is Mehmet, Mehmet here? Well done. Well done, Mehmet. Thank you. Ooh. And for outstanding performance in economics, awarded by Mr. Sherman, uh, Mohammed Portikan. Um, and this person, this is actually an award from me, actually, in recognition for being the most improved student. And he knows who he is. Christopher Marchetti, you've worked so hard this year and come a long way. Thank you very much. Well done. And um, this is recognition for contributions to our college by the head girl, Damola. So thank you so much for your hard work. That's for you, and you're going to stay up here. And then also for Edward, for his contribution too. Thank you so much. So these guys are going to stay here because they're going to... You're going to stay here, Edward. <laughs> so these guys are going to stay here because they are going to give out some awards that are a little bit different. So if you put your presents down there. David Games' next top model. <laughs> <laughs> this is awarded to Tara Bilan Carroll. <laughs> Okay, so everybody knows we did a survey. Everybody knows we did a survey. And for this award for best bromance is Parson Ali. Okay, thank you so much. So most likely to make a living from blogging. So basically a YouTuber of David Game, um, David Game College, Yasna. All right, David Game's funniest student, and this goes to Agzam. Most likely to win a Nobel Peace Prize. It's probably going to be the most quiet person we know. I have biology with him. He's very annoying. His name is Nathaniel. Most likely to become Prime Minister. Right, this is a big one. So um, it goes to Yasna. This is most likely to survive the Hunger Games. I, I mean, I wish it was me, but... Uh, Michelle. Yeah. 